Because look, yesterday I couldn't find an outfit. This is the first time in my life I've ever done this. Show you how I plan my July. Yeah, we're just rolling with the flow. We're rolling with the flow. We're not gonna think too much about it. It's gonna be what it is and it's gonna be good. We are now at Little Feet and I'm with this beautiful lady. This is me waking up. <laughs> I've been up for the longest. <laughs> it was fun. I like that. Like I was saying before I got interrupted by the door ring. I like the band. Yesterday was so much fun. Festival that I even pay for to go to. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm always blessed. However, I'm gonna, I need to go ahead and clean my bed. Because look, yesterday I couldn't find an outfit. This is the first time in my life I've ever done this. I couldn't find an outfit yesterday because I was looking for a last minute outfit for a festival. So I took out everything that is kind of like festival appropriate and laid it all on the bed to like make outfits. And this is what I just pushed it aside for the first time in my life. Wow. So I need to go and fix all of this. Drink the water that I took out to drink. Put this back where it needs to go. And organize there. Put these random shoes away and go for a walk because it's beautiful outside and i feel like i need to get some time outside to journal because the energy is high the energy is ooh, a lot wild not wild tired but the energy has been very high lately and i'm trying to capsulate it and hold it because a lot of good things have happened to me and i am blessed Anyway, this is like uncut documentary of the day after going to a party. Let's see the time. Oh, and I'm a Tory Lanez fan now. It's 10.30. I've been up since 7 or 6 or 5. Really early. I got home at 1. 2. No, 1. And I slept at like 2 something. Hi beautiful people, I took a shower, creamed up lotion up my body, oiled up my body actually. Um, I'm now going to get ready, but while I'm getting ready and doing like a simple makeup look, I thought I should sit down and give you a bit of a update on, on like everything that's been happening because if you saw a few videos ago, I am, I did get a new job, so I start a new job on August 1st and i'm very excited it's a really big company that is dutch and i'm just really excited to join the team and be a part of the company and i'll tell you of course what the company is who the company is and what i'm going to do in a later video mm, you know everything at its time but uh yeah i'm really thankful and very happy for getting this new role and i did resign from my current role where i'm working now as a customer service rep and i was a bit nervous to do that because i've never really resigned from a company before or well, i have but right when i was going to resign from my role at zara they also decided not to extend my contract because they knew i was unhappy there and now with this new role that i'm going to start i'm very excited because i'm going like this because i have bread though that i need to eat but i'm really excited to be joining the team and working and doing this new role because it's fun, creative, it's something that's up my alley, it is also aligned to my study in communication management and it's just ideal for me in this phase of my life so I'm very thankful again I can't say enough I'm very thankful. Oh look at that today is Sunday June 26 and it's 11 22. Yesterday I went to Oh My and before moving forward with this video I'm kind of doing I'm kind of going to do it like in different parts so before moving on and talking about like the chit chat part I'm going to stop this part of the video now and show you actually some videos and parts of oh my yesterday <laughs> Oh, 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 no. 
Girl, you just own it Cause your body's on fire Show me how to control it This is a very raw and uncut kind of the day after a party getting back to your senses vlog. I hope you enjoyed the footage of me at Oh My. It was a lot of fun. I actually didn't buy a ticket to go, but me and my friend Shade had plans to go for dinner because we were supposed to go out and celebrate. Oh, I planned to go out with her to celebrate her birthday because when it was her birthday, she was actually on carousel and was it in Holland. So my gift to her was going to be us going out yesterday. Yeah, it's called by Ami Urban Bistro in Rotterdam. It's really beautiful. If you haven't heard of it or haven't been there as yet, I would definitely say add that to your places of, or to your list of places to go. It's a very beautiful location. I went there once, but uh, it was in the ending of summer or in summertime and it was very windy. We were supposed to go there, but then I messaged Shade like in the afternoon yesterday, like, hey, are we still on for today? Because the night before Friday, she went out and you know when she goes out that you know she can get tired the next day so i thought like you know she's probably not going to want to go but she was up and ready to go and then she asked to call me but i should say i was like looking the whole day yesterday and friday actually on like all the funny things people were saying and different groups on facebook about oh my and how it was like going to be like always something with them and and an epic fail, la 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 la. And I was just like, not really. Oh yeah, I was just following it and seeing what everyone was saying about the festival. I did see an email that I got in that said, Dear Sajin, hereby I would like to invite you to the event or my festival 2022. And I was like, huh? Are they so desperate that they're sending people out emails to even like come to the festival and to be a part of it? I was just thinking like, that sounds like a whole mess. But I was thinking, I never actually went to Omai before. So how did they get my email to send it to me? Or is this just just like a, a, a phishing email, you know? Like if you click on the link, it's going to take all your details, all your accounts will be shut down. Cause that's been happening a lot. Like uh, people getting emails and clicking on links that actually look like actual emails, actual companies messaging them. And then all their details are getting like uh, wiped away. So I was just thinking, my gosh, Okay, how did they get my email, number one? Number two, this seems strange. But yeah, should they then called me? Because I was editing a video yesterday. The video I made on this, the review on that. If you haven't checked it out, go and check it out, please and thank you. I was editing and I was just chilling and I went to the city also yesterday, took out my outfit to wear. Shade called me and she's like talking about so many different things and like, oh, did you get the email for uh, oh my, I have us cards to go. Because I was thinking, yeah, if we go to dinner by Ami, yeah, then uh, I can maybe go because what they did for Saturday, people that bought tickets, they couldn't invite like a plus one and then the plus one got the email. And apparently she did it the night before. But the email or the ticket, the card for the actual festival didn't get sent until after. We decided to go to the festival and it turned out to be epic as you could see in the videos. It was really fun. We got in uh, at 9, 9 o'clock and the festival finishes at 11. So from 9 until 11, we partied. <laughs> We kind of parted because I'm not really a Tory Lanez fan. However, I'm now a Tory Lanez fan because his performance, from what I've seen and experienced, is even better than 
Whis uh, Whiskid. Going out yesterday last minute to Umai was very fun. I really enjoyed it. So Shade, thank you very much. And whoever she took the card from also, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Lately, I've also been saying like, I'm so thankful and blessed because a lot of like things have been happening, changes happening. And I can just feel the energy shifting, my energy getting better. Not better, well, not better. I shouldn't say better. It's like things are just feeling good. So just the update was... I got the new job, I start August 1st, I resign from my current employer where I currently work, and life's feeling really good right now. Oh, and also the next thing is, this week coming up, I'm actually free from work, from my current role, because uh, I had some days that were going to expire a few months ago that I found out, so I could have like cashed them in, or I could have just gone ahead and have time off, so I took this week off, I'm totally free this week have well from work but I have a lot of plans to meet different people and to do different things so I'm really excited as I mentioned again like a lot of good things are happening and I'm just on cloud nine of excitement and openness and I know I'm blessed I know great things are happening I know everything I went through how I felt not getting the role being redirected the rejection i had rejection is literally a redirection i can attest to that and i really feel i am so open and ready 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 mita ready ready my antillian <laughs> i just wanted to kind of come by give a little catch up of how i've been doing lately and what i'm up to oh, i was explaining you what today's hap what i'm going to do today so today I'm actually going to go for a walk now because I feel like I have energy and my body is tired but not really tired so I need to just walk and get some of my energy moving, go for a long walk, journal as well since there's a lot of energy around. I really want to like hold this energy, hold it in and use it as fuel for this week that I have coming up. And my hair yesterday, oh, it was pretty, the curls were popping. My hair, I don't know, I'm not dyeing my hair anymore, black, but my color of my hair is like black and then brown, but I cut all the part that I bleached all that time ago, so it can't be the bleach parts no more, right? Hmm. Literally the things I do. And it was so beautiful. Whenever I see butterflies, I always say hello to them. And also bugs, but especially butterflies. I love them. I'm currently at my happy place. My heart is full. I am so thankful to be here. I just love being outside and the energy feels so good. Thank you. I'm so thankful that I have this location near my house that I can come to. Like, look, I'm right by the water side. My feet are grounded for some grounding. Ah, oh, I just love it. And then I have all my knickknacks that I had in my bag there because I thought I was being smart by putting my bag on the ground or on the grass because it's wet. But you want to see my pants? Look, literally. Ay, Dios mío! It looks like I peed myself. Is a new day. I've been off this week, or I'm off this week, I should say, because the week just started. I should also say, actually, hi from me and Mr. Pimple. I don't know why Mr. Pimple came. However, by Sunday, Mr. Pimple has to be gone. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Subscribing is free, 100% free, gratis. You don't have to pay for anything. It's 100% free. And liking this video as well. So go ahead and like the video. Thank you, I really appreciate it so, so, so much. But as I was saying, today is a new day and 
I am actually ready now to go to The Hague to go meet up with a online friend that turned into a real life friend. And she actually now lives on Bonaire, but now she's in Holland because of work. So we're going to go and have lunch together. Today a little V, I'm taking you along. I don't know how the last few days on this is going to go together, but hopefully this is its own new vlog. And that was a video or a vlog. However, if this goes into that, yeah, we're just rolling with the flow. We're rolling with the flow. We're not gonna think too much about it. It's gonna be what it is and it's gonna be good. Good, good, good. I'm now going to get ready to go actually first to the city hall, the gemeente, so I can print a few papers, my agenda or my calendar for the month of July. I'm gonna show you that later. We're going to actually go ahead and plan out my month of July together. I'm gonna to show you how I plan my month and how I like stay on top of things and how I make sure that I get the best of my time that I have free, especially that I'm only going to be working one week. So this week I'm actually free from work, my current role. And then next week I work my last week Monday to Thursday and then after that from Friday I am totally free. I'm on a three week vacation and I want to show you how I actually plan out my vacation here in Holland and how I stay up to date with all the things I need to do and have done. So all of that being said, we're just going to go ahead now and leave to go to the Gemeente House like I said and print the calendars and then I'll take you along to Little V while we go to have lunch. So let's go! So we are now at Little Feet and I'm with this beautiful lady. Look how beautiful she looks. <laughs> And what do you have again? What was this one? This is lamb cutlet because oh, yeah. I really wanted lambs. Yeah, and it looks so good. I have to try a piece of yours. It looks yeah, really you good. Yeah, you can try it. Yeah. And right here I have a little soup. Little soup. Po was oh, the name. Nice. And I have fried rice with chicken leg. Ooh, yummy. And then we also have, uh, how do you say that? Orange juice, mango, and, and mint. Mint, yeah. Mint drinks. For Something nice. For the freshness and our little cute view. Ah, I love it. Hi beautiful people, I am back home, home sweet home from being out today. I had a really good time today, a good few hours with Diana Shuri. I, yeah, you did see her, I did film us when we went to go to Little V, but we ate. The food was so good. The chicken leg itself was super delicious, very, very delicious. And the rice was amazing. Sauce, perfect. And the salad I had on the side also had a bit of like a pickled taste, which was really, really good. I've been home for a while now. I actually was a bit tired after I came back. So I went ahead, took a nap, and I'm now up for my nap. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how I plan out my month ahead a few days before the month starts so the new month show you how i plan my july what i'm going to do how i'm going to look at it how i'm going to color coordinate everything because i usually go ahead and like fill in my months looking like this it looks like a whole lot of things but this way i have like an overview of everything that happened in the month how my month was any appointments i had to keep up to date, anything that was reoccurring. How I actually just stay up to date and stay organized. This is one of the things that helped me so much to make sure that I don't miss things that I have that might be happening that month, that week, or that day. Since the beginning of this year, if you've been on my channel for a while and saw my other videos, I started with like different uh, calendars that I would make and every month has something that would allow you to explore and dive back into the journey of self. July, I've designated being the month of self-empowerment because I feel like the energy is very high. We're in the middle of summertime and you feel very empowered to do stuff. The energy is very high, I feel like, because the sun is out more longer. We have longer days here in the Netherlands, especially. The sun goes down probably sometime like even around 10 o'clock. So I think July is all about, or well, I've designated July being all about self-empowerment, to doing the things and accomplishing the goals that you have. 
And then I've done August being self-love, September being self-forgiveness. I put self-love in August because I feel like it's the ending of summertime and we need to again dive more deeper into self-love and showing how we can journey back into being loving ourselves maybe after having a busy summer or a summer full of things. And then finally in September, remembering that we do need to forgive ourselves if we've done things that we're not so happy with or if we feel put down by doing something or or if a lot of different things happen to us in the summertime that we can flash back at the month of September and just be forgiving to ourselves. So those are the other months that are coming up. However, now we're going to go ahead and fill in my July 2022. And I'm going to show you all the things and the ways in which I fill in my calendar. I think it's really cool to show you this because you'll get an idea of how I plan my months how I like to keep up to date with different things. And hopefully you might also be inspired to also start planning ahead, but having an idea of what your free days are and maybe days you would like to do things for other people or days you would like to take some rest. Uh, yeah, this just makes it a lot more easier having a calendar that you can see like this, because again, at the ending, you'll see it looking like this. Oh, now it looks like this, but at the ending, I'll show you how it looks. I also have an agenda that I use as well because I'm, uh, planner and I like planning and I like agendas and colorful pens and all that stuff So, so far, this is what I have planned for my July. Um, again, today is Tuesday, June 28th. And this is so far what I have planned with people, work, therapy that I just needed to put in. So I'm just going to run you through my whole month of July, what I have planned so far. Of course, things will be added. Some things might not happen or be canceled. But this is what my preliminary month of July looks like. And at the ending of the month, I usually have a schedule that looks like this. That has like a lot of different codes of like when I uploaded videos on YouTube, um, if I had to travel to work or if I just traveled for myself, when I got the job offer, a lot of different codes when I started my menstrual cycle as well. So I can see that as well. But uh, yeah, in July, this is what I'm going to look like so far. I'm planning to do a fast. Um, I'm planning to start from the 1st of July. Uh, I'll probably start in the morning with a smoothie, so that can be my last meal. And then I'll break the fast on Saturday morning with some watermelon because I plan to also go to the market. I don't know if you can see it there, to get myself some new flowers, a gift to me. I love getting myself new flowers and I like to plan it in as well. And especially since July is starting like this, especially with it being on a Saturday, because in my neighborhood on Saturday, we have market and they have like the beautiful flowers there. I have a party or an event. I don't want to call it a party. It's kind of like a spiritual healing called Piano Land, a new kind of part. And they play I'm a piano music. I'm really looking forward to that. That's happening on the 3rd of July. And then this week when I'm working, I just uh, highlighted in green. So I'm working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And Thursday is my last shift. And then I plan, oh, I have therapy that's reoccurring every Thursday that starts at nine. So I have that every Thursday. And then from the 21st, we have like double sessions booked in. So that's why these ones are a different time. But these marks are just saying that it's the same thing as the one above. And then in July, I also plan to meet up with one of my friends called Ania and uh, to do a lifestyle shoot with someone called Simona and to meet one friend called Mish. We're going to meet up so i have those dates planned in already that they're booked and i have with those ladies that i'm looking forward to and then i have birthdays so my aunt's birthday how old she's making as well i write down um a little boy i used to take care of how old he's making wrote down as well uh my aunt uh her birthday and also when my great uncle great uncle yeah when my great uncle transitioned i write that down as well so i can remember that i can have all these known 
that whenever big things happen, I find it really good to have it written down. So this is what my July looks like so far. I have a lot of MTDs, a lot of things that I can still uh, put things in. What I do need to actually do is to go ahead and call my sister because I'm planning to have my niece and nephews stay over at my place for about three days and then I want to take them also on like separate dates by themselves. So I'm hoping that that can happen somewhere here or maybe even uh, here, yeah. Because this week is my last week off and I would like to spend my last week off kind of like free and doing just like last minute things before starting my new job. And what else was I thinking? Oh yeah, I also want to paint my bedroom so or paint my office space I'm going to have. So I would like to do that between 28th and the 31st. It won't take a full long day, but uh, yeah, I think it's good to have that done somewhere around this time. Now we're going to go ahead and relax for a few. Calm Wednesday and I'm all done. I put my hair today back in a slick bun so that too much emphasis would not be on my pimple that I'm trying to have healed and I'm going to do something really cool today. I'm going to be showing and giving a private lesson of how to apply makeup and how uh, the person that's coming can explore their current makeup collection. I have been obsessed and loving makeup for the past for the past few years and I've gotten a lot better at it compared to how I was in the beginning. Um, I think now I have a real good down pack system that I use for putting on my makeup and when she reached out to me asking me if I could maybe show her one day how to do makeup I thought why not? Why not get out of my comfort zone and do it? So, so today we're going to do that. Today we're going to go ahead and explore her makeup kit at my place and show her how she can use her makeup that she has maybe invest in some things that would be as of use but uh i'm looking forward to seeing how it looks for all she has in it and also having some girl time over makeup chit chatting showing her how to do makeup and yeah i thought i would pop in and show you that i had a good lunch today Oof, i made a really really good lunch i actually want to make it for her as well the person i have coming over um depending if she wants to have that. I actually wanted to get eggs so I can make it a bit more wow, like boiled egg and then put that with it as well. So let's see, that's what I'm doing today. This week of me being off was quite chill and some things planned in here and there. Uh, so yeah, if you also want to maybe have like a one-on-one -on -one makeup session with me, let me know. You can send me a DM on Instagram and I will be happy to go ahead and have a look at my agenda to see what I can fit you in. In July, I am free for about three weeks. Of course, as you saw in yesterday's video, or yesterday's footage, I have some days already that's like taken up and things I need to do already. However, if you want to, I'm always down. And yeah, today we're gonna do three hours. And I have also some goodies and snacks that I have as well to provide her with while she's here, just so she can feel quite chill and make it like a cozy vibe and not something that's quite structured or oh, it is structured <laughs> i have my structure i want to do all in my head and i kind of thought about it for a while but i don't want to make it too i don't know what the word is too uptight i want to make it very chill you're in my home my home has good energy it's very vibrant just like me and yeah for it to just be kind of like a for it to just be a good sit down where she can learn and feel relaxed and not feel pressured by someone critiquing everything that maybe she does wrong or so because you know how the makeup world can be so yeah, what I did is I went ahead and put my mirror that I use here to do my makeup in and then I put this big vanity mirror that I have in my bedroom so that she can also see herself more 
and then here I have my makeup stuff and my hair things and then below I also have more makeup there just to show her what my makeup kit currently looks like and what I use also to advise on some products maybe that she could add to her makeup kit as well and that's our little setup I like it I think it's quite cute nice and simple a lot of natural light coming in I think I'll also bring up my ring light as well so that uh, yeah if you need any more light that she can also use that as well beautiful people today is Thursday June 30th the last day of June and I'm currently at the bank wharf in a corner just chilling I had therapy today at 9 o'clock in the morning and it's now 11 21 and my little spot has this view of the Hague fun fact I used to work where that blue where well, that blue like um, graph thingy is I used to work there at Topshop that was my old store and my view here is also really pretty I chose to sit here because I thought it was nice and colorful and it's alone I wanted to sit down in a spot alone I have my journal I got a latte macchiato and a little cookie and I have my book here that I started reading last week from Viola Davis Finding Me it is so good that's how much I have left I could have finished it before but I was a bit busy some days and I really wanted to like spend time with the book but the book is so good I haven't read a lot of like this kind of biography is kind of written by the person that wrote it but it's really good I'm really enjoying how she wrote about her life all the things she went through wow she is one strong person and I think that is so beautiful for her to share this book with us to also know that everyone has something that they go through she wrote something actually that stuck out to me there is absolutely no way whatsoever to get through this life without scars no way it's a friggin emotional boxing ring and either you go in either you go one round four rounds or 40 rounds depending on your opponent that part really stuck out to me so i had to highlight it of course there was another one i like this one so honey don't try to label or define me because i'm not who i use who i was 10 years ago or 10 minutes ago i'm all of that and then some and whereas I can't live inside yesterday's pain, I can't live without it. Oof, that is deep. Hello. I've been home for a while. I've been diving and going through the emotions with this Finding Me Viola Davis book that I have here. I'm almost done, just I think four more pages to read and I will be over. But wow, anyone that read the book that got to like the ending of it or like that section, wow, I, I can't even talk. It's just, it's just amazing the things that we as people go through that make our stories, our stories, our life journeys that I just think is incredible. That's very incredible. And her story, her being such a huge actress, the things that she went to through to get to where she is now, it is just like it's unbelievable to think that the person that we see on the on the on the movies and on the series has this story. So then we forget after we get caught up at life that everyone has a story and that everyone has things that they went through. But hers, I'm thankful that she shared it with us. Her readers and people that experience her as a person. But it is incredible. And if you haven't um, read the book or listened to it on Audible, it's definitely... Is that my head? Yeah, I think so. It's definitely high on my recommendation list. It's like top five that you have to read just so that if you're going through things if you are if you are going through things in your life or you went through stuff and you feel a bit 
like you're the only one going through stuff, this book reminds you that even those that have made it, that we see that's made it, that we think their life was perfect to get them there, they go through a lot of issues. And again, I'm so thankful that she created this book. I'm going to spend some time maybe later on tonight after I finish reading it to make like a little caption for my uh, Instagram with some pictures I took of the book to share because I think everyone needs to know about it in my uh, community so that they can also read it as well. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, go ahead and check it out. It'll be on my Instagram and also some inside pages and sections that I think are worth sharing. I took pictures of ones that I felt really connected to in one way or the other to share with you all. But I've been diving into that book. I had to call my aunt because today's her birthday and I just finished doing some yoga. I started a 30 day yoga challenge with yoga by Nico on YouTube and she is so good. Wow. I was literally sweating there on the mat just a while ago. <laughs> I was literally sweating. I'm going to go ahead now and make a dinner and I think no I know it will be best to close the vlog here because this vlog will be like my ending of June and beginning or planning July uh, and then tomorrow I might start a new vlog and take you along with me for the first few days of July yeah that's what I'm going to do so for the rest of this night I'm just going to have a chill night finish the book start to edit this video and yeah have a chill evening before i start tomorrow because tomorrow i'm starting a fast a fast a 24 hour or a bit over 24 hour fast i'll start tomorrow morning after i have my last smoothie and then i'll break the fast on saturday after going to the market and getting fresh watermelon thank you for watching this video this is the last few days of June, and we're starting a new vlog tomorrow with the beginning of July. July is going to be a good month. A month that I think I still need to also sit down and reflect a bit before starting my new role. But I'm so ready for it, and I'm really excited and looking forward to seeing what this new chapter of my life will bring. So, if you want to stay tuned to see what will be coming, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell. By clicking on the bell, you will go ahead and be notified every time I upload a video. And if you haven't already, go ahead and also like this video. Liking the video is completely free and it just makes me feel really happy. And it allows the video to be seen by different people if you do like it and also engage with my content. Yeah, but that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>